Adrian, he really wants to talk to you. We're not talking to him. If you want to hold the phone up, fine. Hold on. It was Leonard Stokes. He planned the whole thing from prison. His trial was coming up, and somehow he had to get his confession thrown out. The only chance he had was to discredit the cop that arrested him, and that was Adam Kirk. Stokes called his pal John Gittimer. He convinced Gittimer to lure Kirk onto the Ferris wheel and then make it look like Kirk beat him up. <laughs> the bruises on Gittimer's chest were self-inflicted. That's why his sweatshirt <laughs> zipped up all the way. Okay, what about the stabbing? Captain says, what about the stabbing? I'm getting to that, aren't I? Aren't I? It turns out Gittimer only knew half the plan. He was the real Patsy. Stokes had another partner. Someone who worked at the carnival. Someone who loved Maybe him. It's me. Someone who would kill for him. Ferris wheel operator? Wait, how does he know it was the Ferris wheel operator? They were both wearing straight and sober buttons. What do you want to Orange ones. Every chapter has their own color. It took me a while to put it together. Stokes didn't want to make Lieutenant Kirk look corrupt or hot-tempered. He wanted to make Kirk look like a killer. Kitty was there to finish the job. They've been here all week. I've been questioned like seven times. Shh, Kitty, baby. I got a plan. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're here. We're by the spider. Don't do anything. Don't go anywhere. We're on our way. Okay, okay. They're on the way. They're on the way. Something's wrong. God. He's still somewhere in the park. There's no way he can get out of here now. We should go up on the Ferris wheel so we can see everything. I get a better idea. You go on the Ferris wheel. You can see everything. Do you know how to work it? How hard can it be?